A no commentary version of this run can be found in the pinned comment in the comments section below. Myself and Beast Coast have teamed up with ExpressVPN to tell you a little bit about their services. ExpressVPN is a VPN that has servers in 94 countries and will protect your private information. By using ExpressVPN to mask your IP address, it will keep you safe against things like DDoS attacks. I use VPNs to keep myself safe while browsing weird links because Google, YouTube, and Twitter are one thing. But if I need to go to a dubious place, I always VPN before I click. Take Rick and Morty for instance. Rick and Morty is not available on US Netflix. But if we connect to a UK server, and then we refresh the page, there's Rick and Morty. Add it to any of your devices. It's easy, fast, safe, and convenient browsing to use on whatever system you have. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash carsey or clicking the link in the description box below. This video is intended as a game walkthrough. It is not a speedrun. All strategies in this video were made for efficiency and success rate. Please watch the entire video and listen carefully to the commentary before trying any of these strategies for yourself. Hello everyone, this is a no damage run of Resident Evil 2 on the PC. Resident Evil 2. The scenario is Leon A and this is hard difficulty. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. What have we got here? That guy's a maniac! Why'd he bite me? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer.
going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. So Hard Difficulty is a mode that is exclusive to the PC and Dreamcast versions of Resident Evil 2. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. I'm uh, not going for the special key pickup. simply because it's uh, really difficult. Here's a little trick. If you knock back the zombies, the next shot is always going to be a shot that knocks them down. Shout out to Aether for that trick. But anyhow, yeah, that's why I started shooting them from behind the gate. Because, like, if you knock the zombies back, but you don't knock them down, then the next shot will be guaranteed to knock them down. This area over here, best thing to do is just go for it. So the zombies in hard mode, they take, like... They take, like, three times as many bullets to take down. But in order to counteract that, the handgun actually has a 10% uh, chance of firing off a shot that is the equivalent of a singular magnum shot. And that's pretty much the only way to get around Misty on the bus over here, is to just hope that uh, one of the shots actually crits her, otherwise you gotta exit and re-enter and reset, grabbing the other box of handgun bullets. So I've had to reset on that several times. Because we don't get Brad in the uh, in the stairs going down, the zombies will be in the courtyard here. must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies. 
in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Because of how many bullets it takes to actually kill zombies, the most efficient thing is to hold off on actually shooting zombies until we pick up the shotgun. You can still use the handgun in uh, some spots where it would be like handy to save on shotgun shells, but for the most part you're going to want to decapitate zombies with the shotgun. Definitely a lot easier to play as Leon on hard mode just because he can decapitate more zombies. Control is resumed here, you just uh, hold up and left. You buffer your input by holding up and left while the liquor is dropping, and uh, you will get by it pretty much every time. For this room over here, uh, just uh, buffer up and left until Leon has turned 90 degrees. You'll get by those zombies every time as well. I don't think there's ever been a single time, even on hard mode, where I wasn't able to make that dodge. Because this is hard difficulty, you gotta get a little ballsy at times. We're not going to shoot these zombies. Quite so soon. Just go into the star's office and grab the unicorn medal to start. Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your mother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I'm gonna grab the shotgun from the locker here. Then we'll go back out here and uh, finish this puzzle. I just do this puzzle in sections just because it's quicker. It saves about like two seconds total, but it's just a habit that I carried over from speedrunning. It's not like you need the jewel any faster, or like any sooner, I should say. easiest way to get past that zombie is to just tap R1 and aim at it, and then run, and then slide directly behind him. And we're going to go into the briefing room here and use the lighter. And take the jewel.
the handgun, the bullets, and the knife. To get around that liquor, you just, you know, you just straight up run through. Take the interior line. As long as you keep running and as long as you don't, like, bonk any walls, you'll be okay. We've used the unicorn metal. We've got the spade key. And, uh... For liquors, just walk. They don't actually aggro until you, like, get directly under them. So just, like, don't even worry. Climb up here and take the crank. Because that liquor is just going to take forever to turn around anyway, we can just run towards the door while we're leaving. Not even bother walking. Just go. Just run. We don't even need to shoot these zombies. We're just going to do the same dodge again. But I would say that uh, the next room coming up is where dodging would be a potentially very bad thing to attempt. So what I do instead is I'm going to run up to the star's office door with the shotgun equipped. And then I can decapitate both of them all at once. In order to decapitate a zombie, you aim up at its head. And if the zombie isn't close enough range, you will decapitate it. Bang, bang, skid, skid. It's done. So we're down here, we're going to... Just move these two shelves to the right once. Take the bishop plug. Just go ahead and get the bishop plug early. I also like to decapitate this zombie, but maybe not yet. Unless he's like in a place that makes it really hard to dodge around. Because these are Japanese version enemy patterns, you can play the American version enemy patterns if you play on a range difficulty. Like on a range hard difficulty. Uh, a range hard is the same as the nightmare mode on Dreamcast. Just putting that out there. I could have actually done this run on nightmare mode. Especially now that I have like, now that I have a strat down for G4. I might consider doing that in the future. I like to decapitate that zombie in the middle of this area here because getting rid of him makes it easier to get around Misty. Misty stays largely unaggroed because of where she's facing, but that zombie in the middle can just like aggro both ways. So it's, he's probably the uh, he's probably the wild card out of that group of zombies. I'd say he's like you know leaving him alive is uh, going to be the how do I put this? Let's just put it this way, leaving him alive is going to be the riskiest because of how unpredictable he can be. So if you're trying to just like dodge Misty or something like that, he can like just veer in a direction that you don't want him to veer into. So I prefer to get rid of him as opposed to getting rid of Misty. Just dodge Misty. This dodge is easy, just hug the right side of the wall. There's some shotgun shells here. You get 33% uh, more handgun bullets, so you get 5 more handgun bullets than on normal, but you get 2 less shotgun shells than on normal. 
So you have to be a lot more deliberate with your uh, shotgun shells. We already used the two jewels, now we got the king plug. I like to hit this wall and then zag over to the other wall just to get around this particular zombie. That zombie's kind of a dick. Again, just going to walk, and when the liquor drops, we're going to run. He's basically just not going to catch up to us fast enough by the time he uh, drops down and is like wised up to us. Turn 90 degrees, we're going to wait for Misty to hit the wall, and then we're going to run. Make sure our shotgun is full. We always want to make sure our shotgun is full. Whenever we hear a... Uh, whenever we see the zombie raise its arms, that's when we shoot. That means that it's in uh, close enough proximity to decapitate. So another thing about zombies on hard difficulty is they move really fast, especially Marvin. So the best thing to do with Marvin is to just uh, back up. Your backing up speed does end up being faster than even like the fastest zombie shamble. This is not true of like Resident Evil 3. Or with certain zombies in arrange mode in Resident Evil 1, but on hard difficulty, yeah, it's like the fastest zombie speed is uh, capped in such a way that uh, you can just backpedal, and uh, as long as you don't bump into any walls or nothing, you'll be okay. On the way to the basement, we're going to take... We're going to uh, do 2236 to get these shotgun shells. run a diagonal line, you can get around these dogs, but I like kind of run down the center of the hall and swerve left in order to get around it. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you?
Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. So once we're down here, into this basement area... Oh man. We're just going to uh, light that guy up, apparently. And because we can't see this other spider, we're going to just uh, keep auto-aiming at it to confirm that the spider is within shooting range. This overall was kind of risky. It's a bit of an idiot strat. I personally like to grab the, uh... I personally like to grab the, uh... The handgun parts, the burst handgun parts, in order to deal with the spiders here. It's not really an idiot strat. <laughs> it does consume a lot of shotgun shells, though. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. So for these dogs, one shot will always knock them back. As long as you wait for the growl and that first pitter-patter, you are likely to score a knockback. If you don't hear a knockback, keep firing. kind of close. Once one dog is down, we can uh, rush up to the other dog after we score a knockback and just keep aim down and keep firing over and over again. You only ever want to do this on the last dog, by the way. You can probably get a little riskier, like with Leon's burst handgun. 
but I would generally not recommend it. Just play it safe, stay back, and just keep scoring knockbacks until the dogs die. Got those extra shotgun shells for Leon. Gotta pick up every shotgun shell that we can that is reasonable. Can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! US version there would be two liquors in this room. But because there's liquors at all, best thing to do is to just walk. Regardless of whether or not you choose to grab the submachine gun, you always want to unlock that door. I opted to not grab the submachine gun this run, but uh, in general, for newer players, I would recommend it because the submachine gun absolutely shreds liquors. Take this magnum here, too. Nice and easy. Two, three shotgun shells. Always aim for the head. Pretty much every zombie moves at max speed, so... Let's go slow.
12, 13, 11 to get the gold cog. No more zombies. Not really anything to talk about here. From this point, we can just go directly to the boss. To get around this liquor, I just like to hold up and left until we're moving at a 90 degree angle. Until we've turned 90 degrees from where we started. Before we drop down the hole, I'm going to equip the Magnum. We'll open with the Magnum on the boss and then finish it off with the shotgun. No! Get, get away! No! No! You'll hear me! Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this! I almost got the story! <coughs> ben! <laughs> Bitter irony! The chief of police, a co-conspirator! Get that scum! Make him pay! Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest! It's burning! What's wrong? Good God, what was that? going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada! Wait! Hey! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way.
so on hard mode, I usually like to open, just like shoot from just like directly this position. These, uh, these G embryos here are just always going to be a pain in the arse. So there's really not much you can do. It's just, you know, drop your aim and just keep shaking them off. Also got to be careful when shooting the eye because the eye can actually splash back with acid and poison you. Ada! Eight magnum, four or five shotgun shells is enough. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way for now. Because I did not grab the submachine gun, I absolutely need to come down here and grab the shotgun shells and the magnum bullets here. I was going to come down here to grab magnum bullets regardless. I unequip the handgun here because there's nothing to shoot when playing as Ada, and also it shortens the following cutscene by about, like, three seconds or so, because Ada doesn't have to turn around and pick up her gun. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong? Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is! 
So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha Team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! Stopping it! What is this thing? No! Hurry! What, what is this thing? Fire! So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Coming around the corner here to dodge the second spider, you want to take a wider line because if you try to take a uh, shorter line, then you'll actually get body blowed. Body blocked, I guess. Body blowed is an incorrect uh, is an incorrect verb. But as long as you just run straight for the doors, you know, you don't have to worry about spiders. Spiders are spiders are slow. Before going into this room, we gotta make sure that we turn the valve so that the bridge is upstairs. Body blown. Body blocked, I guess. One or the other. Either way, this boss is free. There's nothing that I have to talk about. Just <laughs> hit the canister and shoot it.
Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Before we hit the vent, we gotta make sure that we grab the Eagle Medal. Turning the valve only stops the fan temporarily. It doesn't allow you to go back. So watch out for that. So get over here. We'll take the wolf metal. And there's going to be a box of shotgun shells right here as well. avoid these spiders. The only reason that I ever shot those spiders in that one sewer area before is just because it's a really narrow hallway and they're likely to just like hit you with a physical attack or just spit acid at you, you know? Not worth shooting Burke in here. You just stand here and uh, let Ada do all the work. Some shotgun parts are here. I'm going to wait until we are at zero shotgun shells before we combine. Or not. One shell is fine. Not even gonna bother with that other zombie. This one over here, definitely gonna decapitate. Take the shotgun shells, these magnum bullets here. For the boss fight, I'm actually not going to be using the magnum. I'm gonna be using the uh, custom shotgun. 
we're going to bank up the Magnum Bullets for the final boss. Snap out of it! start by moving over this way and uh, do two shotgun shells and then we're going to start staggering until we get a swing. Bam. Then turn. Wait for the swing. Two steps. Bam. Turn. Wait for the swing. Bam. Turn. Wait for the swing. Bam. Turn. That one was a little bit risky. I usually like to run like two steps before I fire. But because we're getting like close to the end there, I decided to uh, just go ahead and run around him when he whiffs his swing. That's the trick is you got to bait out the swing, get it to whiff and run. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a little Easter egg by the way. Your bullets can, uh, can smash the camera. There's at least like five spots I'm aware of where it can actually do that, funny enough. But yeah, turn, swing, run we're getting close to the end we gotta turn around again we don't ever want to stop for more than one shot at a time because the recoil on this custom shotgun is ridiculous but it does have the power of a single magnum shot custom shotgun so remember that Once Billy B transforms here, we can just finish him off with two more shells. And that's the end of the fight. We were better off using shotgun shells here than the Magnum, for sure, just because of how slow he is. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on! Wake up! Come on! Welcome back. Oh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But... I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... You'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time. I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. <laughs>
So as you can see, going into the meat locker, use the fuse, take the fuse, reload the shotgun while we're at it. To get around these ivies over here, what I do is I uh, turn in place and I just try to run behind this ivy over here. It does take a little bit of practice to get going. But once you know like that initial angle that will guarantee you're able to run behind the ivy, it's really easy. Next I'm going to equip the custom shotgun. The custom shotgun will knock a liquor back every time. So we always want to take advantage of that. Always try to keep your distance from the liquors, especially as the custom shotgun has a uh, long recoil animation. And sometimes the liquors can uh, rebound a little faster. It's just somewhere between like half a second to like two seconds that they'll actually like get back up kind of try to fake you out just 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 be ready to shoot don't be afraid to shoot them from far away because you don't even really need to hold on to quite so many shotgun shells towards the end of the game I'd like to get rid of that guy first because he is going to be pretty unpredictable on the way out. And we'll decapitate this guy and decapitate this guy. So with those three zombies decapitated, we will take the lab card key and we will get out. out. Liquor is going to drop from the ceiling, so we're just going to run around it. It's just a jump scare. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. We are at quite the surplus of magnet bullets here. So I'm just going to use the rest of these shotgun shells. That was a very risky, uh, that was a very risky shot, by the way. I would not recommend that. I just did that to, uh, just did that to take them all out at once. You, you murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the key virus, didn't you? But you will never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> you're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. 
The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. What? what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. Ada! Ada! I've got you! Don't give up! G... G... Leon... It's... over... Just... Let me go... Shut up! You're gonna make it! It's... Too late, Leon... We both know it... No! I promised you that we would escape! just have to help me out here. I... I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Goodbye. Ada! For like the for like the final area here, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and decapitate all these zombies. Get ready for the final fight. So first up, we're going to move back, and uh, we're going to fire three, four, five, six, while standing next to that uh, that light over there. And then we're going to wait. We're going to stand over here. We're going to wait for G3 to come around the corner here. We're not going to shoot him yet. It takes seven shots to trigger the change. We're going to wait for the turn. Once that happens, he's... 
ready to transform. And when he does, he is going to jump on this left tube over here. We wait. Wait for him to jump on top. Once we hear that, we're going to position ourselves so that Leon's right foot is uh, looking through the uh, the railing. It's a very, very, very uh, specific place, but like, pay attention to the position of Leon's left foot. If Leon's left foot is in between those two uh, rails over there, then you can just keep getting uh, Birkin to jump towards you over and over again, and he won't be able to jump down, so you can just aim up and just keep shooting him until he's dead. It takes a lot of practice to get the positioning down, but it is definitely by and far the easiest way to kill Birkin with guns. And there we go, easy peasy. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this run, please be sure to check out my other no damage playthroughs. I'm not sure when I'll be doing the other, uh, when I'll be doing the other scenarios of this no damage, but keep an eye out. My uploads are in a bit of a random spot right now. But I do know damage runs in uh, other games as well, not just Resident Evil, so check it out. Maybe you might even find something that you like. I also record all these runs live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash carcinogensta, so come say hi. I try to stream five days a week. If you would wish to monetarily support my bad challenge run habit, you may do so on my Patreon at patreon.com slash carcinogensda. I have some stretch goals in place for mod playthroughs of Resident Evil and uh, kill all runs. I don't really have like any uh, individual perks and whatnot, but definitely go check out the goals. I will just be constantly updating more and more and more and more goals as we hit them, so... Check them out if it's something that interests you. Might even uh, make it so that patrons can vote on Patreon goals and whatnot in the future, so. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and see you all next video. Bye for now.
It was almost sub-hour. Almost. 